Hey guys! Alright guys, we're here today to do the video that finished in first place in the Patreon poll of the week and it's none other than Moonspell where their latest video single from their upcoming album, the name of the song is Common Prayers. I would say that a better name for a song being released this year would have been Thoughts and Prayers oh. because that's pretty much all we've been doing since, uh, since the beginning, nearly the beginning of the year. Yeah. It's been Thoughts and Prayers, uh, which is, hasn't helped much, but... It, to be honest, saying that, I don't think it really does much. No, it, it, it kind of makes you feel good, but... It know. makes you feel good, but... But it, it has absolutely zero... Zero effect, yeah. I was going to say zero relevance, but zero effect, I can go with that. All right, so Common Prayers is the name of the song, Moonspell. They have a new album coming out in 2021, and this is the second single, the second video that we do on the channel, because we check out the first single. So let's see. The first one, I think, was a, was a lyric video, wasn't it? I think so. Okay, so this is an actual music video, so... Are you excited? Yeah. All right, let's do this.
All right. I'm going to let you go first. What are your thoughts oh. on this song? Oh, the end, the end of this song kicked every... It was the climax. Was was the climax. It's like the, the perfect ending to an amazing, already amazing movie. And... Oh, I just love how it kicked up. The heavy vocals came in. I was hoping for the heavy they had, vocals. They had come in a little bit earlier. But they, it wasn't But enough. they didn't stay for too long. Yeah. And then they came back. Oh, I was just so happy because everything turned red in the video. And I, I liked how the video kind of changed as the song changed. Um, I, I really, really enjoyed when the heavy vocals came back and came back for that chorus. And it closed off the song it on a very high note. Too. I also liked how the bass was very, very oh. noticeable throughout this whole track. That's where I wanted to go. Yeah. All right, can we go there? Yeah. I was going to say the the start of the ba the start of the track with the bass was absolutely killer. The moment the song starts, all you hear is the bass and it's so predominant in yeah. the forefront and it has a little bit of darkness to it, but it's still groovy at the same time. I love it. But I was kind of like, I hope that, I hope they don't just have the bass in the forefront at the beginning to kind of like intro no, it into was the like song. The whole song the yeah, but, but I was just saying, I was thinking as the song started, I hope it's not just going to be here and then oh. it kind of like get gets hidden into the mix it, of the track. Yeah. But no, you could actually hear the bass quite a lot throughout the track. And I thought it added such darkness. The song is dark. There, there's a dark like atmosphere to the yeah. track. Very dark vibe. Yeah, so I felt the bass was absolutely magnificent from beginning all the way to the end. And there's a portion of the track where all you hear is the drums, the keyboard, and the bass. That's all you hear. Those yeah. three elements. And it's, not and like it's one so of them cool. Is, and it's not like one of them is, is overpowering. No, they're all like they're in perfect, all perfect, you know, perfect balance. Yeah. Perfect balance throughout the song. It's like they're, they're all at but the same level. Part where they were all, like the guitar kind of dropped out and the vocals dropped out. The guitar dropped out, out, the vocals dropped out, and just and those just three. Them. And nothing really overpowered the others. It kind of was No, the keyboards balance. was kind of leading the song forward. The drums were providing a little bit of a, of a, bass, a, line. a bass line. And then the, 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 the bass was just groovy, just, yeah. just giving that I extra love, extra kick. I love looking at him because he was just, you, you could see. Well, as the really, video starts, he was just like, I know, he was hyped. He's, he's really feeling it. It was really hyped. So the song starts with the bass. I'm loving it. And I love the fact that the bass really got to shine on this track almost all the way throughout the song. Yeah. Then the second thing that comes in on the track is the guitars. And the guitars came in with a nice bite on them. They were not like just melodic or just kind of like sprinkling themselves in. No, they had, they had a little had bit that, of heaviness. They yeah. had a little bit of a bite. And I love that as well because it's like, oh my God, this song is starting off in the best way possible. It's, it's almost like they're introducing one mem member of the band at a time because each element is coming in one after the other yeah. and they all have something that you can hold on to, you know? So I really love how, how the guitars had the bite. Then the vocals come in. And when the vocals came in, I was like, ooh, I was expecting the vocals to be a little bit heavier from, from the get-go. Do you agree with that or um, or you were expecting, or you were kind of okay with how the song started vocally? I didn't expect it because the way it started out, I thought it was going to have like one of those things where it just goes, where, where, where it did, it just has the, the clean vocals for a little bit. No, I was expecting that, but I was expecting them to be a little bit lower, like a little bit more... Um, darker because the song had a little bit of bite. The song was a yeah, little bit darker. I, I, was, I was not expecting the the, the his, vocals to be as as clean as, thin. as yeah, but but they were a little bit hidden into the mix. So the, the darkness that the vocals had was not from how they sounded, was from how they were recorded, which is really interesting. Yeah, I was expecting them to be more in the forefront, but more darker, like a little bit of a lower, but more it a was, lower it delivery. Was, it was kind of thin and hidden in, and I thought. I, w I was listening to it. I'm like, okay, his his voice is not even being used in the forefront. It's kind of being used as like a, a nice layer. melody. Yeah. In the in the in the way the whole song is constructed. Yeah, I, I actually I like that, and I'm like, okay, I hope it kind of doesn't stay. But like you wanted this. to, but you kind I of wanted, wanted to push forward. I, I wanted a little bit of a punch. Yeah. Yeah, you wanted to push forward, and then it pushed a little bit forward, but it doesn't really push all the way through until towards the end of the song. As the song ends, then he comes with a harsher vocal, yeah. and then the song kind of explodes. But I love that dynamic there because I was expecting the vocals to feel darker, but not necessarily feel darker from how they were coming across, feel darker just from the delivery. And the delivery was very light, but it felt dark because the way they were recorded, they were a little bit hidden. So I, I like the um, the different approach, yeah. if you will. It took me a little bit of time to get used to, to it. Get used to it. Yeah. yeah, it took me a little bit of time to get used to it. But then was... I was wondering, I'm like, why is everything louder than him? And then... I kind of got that it was just becoming his vocals were just becoming another instrument. But but imagine this, that punch at the end doesn't have the same impact if, if his vocals song, are already in yeah. the forefront, right? So once you finish the song, everything makes sense. It's just that it's going to take you. It took me a little bit of time to process it, 
But then the more the song progress and the more that I see how things are being put together, the more I'm appreciating how the song is put together. It's really interesting. Yeah. But that, that punch at the end, that dynamic ending of, of the harsh vocals coming through, the, the song becoming a little bit heavier, more powerful, all, all of that only really works because of how the song leads you all the way up until that point. Yeah. Because it's very subdued up until that point. And then when that happens, it's like, it's like it's giving a you a jolt. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, I like it. Now, now that I finished listening to the whole song, yeah. I like it. But if I had only heard a little bit of the song and the walk away from it, I think I would have been a little bit disappointed. Yeah. But, you know, you, you shouldn't just listen to one minute of a track no, and walk away. you to the whole thing. I, 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 I take the words of our good friend, Mikael Salo. Uh, when we went to Finland last year, we were, we were listening to music in the car as we were driving to Kotka. And sometimes a song would come on for on my iPod that he didn't like. And I would say, oh, if you want, I can skip it. And he goes, no, you never skip a song when it starts to play. It's disrespectful to the artist. Even if you don't like it, you play it all the way through. Now, and since he said that... That's what you do. I, I never skip a song now. If, if, if I skip a song, it's before the song even starts playing. Once the song starts playing, I don't care how bad it is, I, I'm, I'm, I'm playing it through as respect to the artist. I, wow. I took that. I, I don't listen to Salvo, and I don't take any of his advice on anything in life. Exactly. But this is something that stuck with me. Wow. This in the red line. The, the, the red the line. The red line. The red line. And this stuck with me. To, from that trip from Finland, I actually don't. I didn't remember him saying that. I do remember the red line. Well, you're in the back seat with Benji. Like God knows what the hell the two of yeah. you were doing. So, but I mean, he was driving. I was. I was shotgun. So it, I remember. So that yeah, but that's a that's a really good um good for him. Yeah, and I, I, I gotta say, he doesn't say um. Intelligent things. Int intelligent for, <laughs> things very often. I think the song was a Man o War song. Oh, I think it was a Man o War song. It was either that or or a Sonata song. I, I can't remember. I think it was a Man o War song that came on, and he's like, "Who, who is this?" And he wasn't very happy with. Anyways, but I take that word from him, and and since then I've never skipped a song once I get started with a song. Once I get started with a song, uh, I'm I'm finishing the track wow. out of respect for the artist. All right, so there you oh, go. Oh, he's spreading his wisdom. Yes, we are. Uh, we're super spreaders, yeah. if you know what I'm saying. All right, on that note, guys, come back tomorrow. We'll have more videos for you. See ya. See ya.